hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing a laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we are going to learn about how to make quantity increment and decrement for our cart view page okay so now guys let's get started so first let's move to this user interface at this quantity okay so let's get back as we have left in previous video so we are continuing from that and we are on the card show blade.php where this is our quantity increment and decrement input and now guys let's change this from span to button b u t t o n button done let's copy this again and just paste here button and change the ending of this button okay so now guys let's add type equal to button again so you can copy this and just paste here all set and now let's begin with the wire call and click to click on the increment or decrement so this is a minus right so you can keep the button name as decrement decrement quantity function and inside this function I want to pass the cart ID so guys let's get on the top at this for else you can see that cart as cart item let's copy that variable cart item and just paste here so we just send the cart id that's it so now guys you need to copy this again and paste for below and this will be for the increment inc okay done guys and now when we click on this the button should get disabled okay so for that you can just add wire colon loading dot attribute equals to disabled okay disabled that's it so let's copy this and paste for same for increment quantity also and now guys let's copy this function name and get back to our cart show dot live wire dot php which is live wire component you can just watch out here in the controller app http live wire it's cart cart show and here we are going to create the function with the name increment or decrement and here we are getting the id so you can just mention the type as int and it's a cart id all set guys let's remove this not required and let's copy again and paste below and next was for the increment so let's copy this increment and paste here now guys you can start coding for the quantity okay like when you click here the quantity should increment perfect so guys let's create a variable called cart data so cart data equals to your cart model colon colon where condition again a where condition for the user id and then check for the first record and now guys first here you will be checking the primary key id by the cart id you get so let's copy this cart id and send here paste it and second will be for the user id user id where authenticated user id cool and now guys you can just use if condition and and card data of use decrement function decrement function and what column you want to decrement it so let me just show you this is my column named quantity okay so i just want to increment or decrement by its primary key let's get back here we go let's mention quantity as simple and now you can send the message or use a dispatch browser event so let me just copy from other here we go view and let's copy from here close this so i'm using this dispatch browser event for showing the message okay quantity 
updated all set and it's a success message and it's a 200 so now in the else part you can mention the status to be 404 like the cart id is not found and here you can mention something went wrong that's it guys and it's a error so just send error as simple so now guys let's copy the same code for the increment also let's copy this and paste here in the increment function and you just need to change this function name to in C R E M E N T increment okay and now guys let's save and let's test it once so get back so before testing let's refresh guys so everything loads perfectly and now I'm going to click on this first perfect you see that quantity updated and now let me click again it increment to 4 and let's decrement here with the second here you see it's decremented and doesn't affect anyone okay so you see that it's decremented perfectly and let me just increment it to 5 again cool so everything works fine guys and let me just add one like total column over here so we can multiply the pricing into quantity okay let's get back on the top first on the header part for the price let's make it to one here and add a column copy this after the quantity i just want to add column called total and then we will move below so first is your selling price let's make this column to one copy the same column one everything and paste after your quantity and then one and here you'll be calculating like your selling price into quantity so your card quantity is here let's copy this paste it done guys so now if you save and let's see refresh here perfect so we get everything quantity correctly okay so let's decrement here guys and you see the change perfect so everything calculates correctly so now guys let's do the validation for this quantity okay so this quantity user input quantity should not be greater than your product quantity okay so for that let's get started guys let's move and move to your card show and inside this function only we will start so first step guys we have the product id in your cart model so yep let's use f condition we are working on increment quantity okay card data of your product relationship of quantity okay so i'm going to product table and getting the quantity okay so first we need to check in our cart model do we have a product relationship that is belongs to relationship let's get back to our cart model first move to models and here cart.php and we have the product function perfect so we have already created it let's copy this and get back and then add greater symbol and just take the cart data of quantity cart data of quantity perfect so now guys you can just control x this whole data and push here that's it and in the else part else here you need to check for your product color one like so this vivo has no color but this t-shirt has color right so you need to check this quantity also color quantity too so let's type here dollar product color is equal to your cart cart data from this we will take the product relationship not product let us check we have created the product color also perfect we have already created it let's copy this 
now you can use this product color relationship and use a where condition and just check for the first record okay and now guys here in the where condition id of your card data product color id so let's get back to this card model and just get the product color id let's copy this product color id and paste here so we got that the product color id specific data we are got it and you need to check from this specific product color the quantity so just use if condition again here and check for the quantity okay so now you can just copy this condition so let's copy this and paste here condition to increment so all done guys but uh, here we see the code we have mismatched like we have written up and down so i just wanted to make it clear like first use if condition here and you need to check this oops let me copy this control c and paste here in the if condition and just use exists function okay to check whether first we need to check it's ha it is a product color or just a normal product so you can use that in a else condition here all set and now what we need to do we will cut this if condition and paste here inside the else part let me just show you here all clear and now this data you will control x and paste in the if as simple guys let me remove this else condition here all set guys so first we are checking whether the product has that any color or not if doesn't have then you will be moving inside the another else part and there you will be checking the product quantity that's it guys and now let's get back and just check once again here so now guys i am going to update this vivo v9 without the product color it doesn't have any color let's click on the quantity increment here you see quantity updated and now if you click on this t-shirt you should increment this also okay so let's click here incremented perfect so it's working fine guys and here you see guys that you have a if condition but you don't have a else condition like when the quantity doesn't match your quantity so that time you need to show some data right so let's use else condition here and just pass this message like the message will be like only only and let's concatenate here quantity available and here let me give the space and let's copy this guys just copy it and paste here all set and same else condition you need to copy and just paste for your normal product quantity okay this was for the product color quantity and this is for your normal product quantity in the else part perfect and here you need to use this paste it all set guys and now same code you are going to use it for let's copy this from this if card data everything same and use it in your decrement okay so here is just only decrement function you need to change let's copy and paste here paste so this is my decrement function and inside this use decrement de decrement as simple and now in the else condition decrement done guys let me close this if else and now let's get back so if you decrement also everything will work fine cool it's updated and here also you see working fine so with the color id and normal id also so guys we have successfully completed with quantity increment and decrement with the validation so guys now let's continue next video with the new topic of card list so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share